Roger Allen, who plays poet Ted Wallace in The Hippopotamus, joins me now. So, so Ted, a gift, I think. It must have been great to play a character like that. Oh, <clears throat> well, as soon as I read the novel, which yeah. uh, I read before I, I saw a film script, because the film script wasn't ready, I thought, well, I don't, I don't want anyone else to play this part. It's you mine. Know, it's an absolutely <laughs> fantastic part, so I did everything that I could to keep myself uh, available for it and uh, and do it, yes. Yeah, so. He's ghastly, but he's endearing. Oh, yes. <laughs> In a way. You know? It's become something, you know, as far as he's concerned, mm. from his past, but he cast a benevolent eye right. over it and, uh, and has been very supportive since it's mm. come out. We did a, a thing at the Hay Festival and he's, you know, he's been around True. for it, yeah. The screenplay is fantastic. I mean, oftentimes when you watch things, um, especially sometimes big Hollywood movies, and it's everything's done, and then they kind of forget the words, <laughs> which are the most important thing. But the the script is great. Well, I mean, there's an awful lot of Stephen in the script. Oh, absolutely! You, know, you can always hear him sometimes. Yes, right? you can. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I did a film in Belfast. The day after that, I started Endeavour. I did you know 20 weeks of endeavor the day after that i started hippopotamus and the day after that i i started a film and i was i had to have a bit of a light i'm not surprised that, i'm yeah. not surprised you seem to have this uncanny knack for picking really good stuff you know whether it's on stage whether it's the movies whether it's telly is that just because you're so astute no, no. <laughs> or what how because i've never seen you in anything bad Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the DVDs. Have you, have you got very, those? very amusing. <laughs> well, just, maybe they've just never surfaced. <laughs> We've never seen them. Um, well, you know, I mean, all one can do is sort of um, is is when things come along and you're offered them, uh, you kind of think, well, yes, I'd like to do this, or yeah. no, I don't think I'd like to do that, or I, that doesn't work practically because it won't fit in with that. So it's just luck, mm. really. I guess. I mean, I, you know I loved you in the thick of it, and I just wonder if they could do one now. Is it, is it, is it beyond satire now, or current political climate? I'm not sure. <laughs> Run, what's going on? The is so satirical. I know, that you, you know. I know, you do think that just yeah. went on. Have you never, or would you ever go, because I could see you as a really good baddie in a big kind of like Mission Impossible blockbuster. Is that something you'd ever want to do? I'd love to do Because I think you'd be... I'd love to do Right, that. good. Because I, I think <laughs> you would chew up the scenery, you would have a fantastic time, or a Bond, you know, I, a I Bond did, I did do the villain in a, in a big Hollywood movie called Speed Racer yes. about 10 years ago, but unfortunately it did... Re I thought, at this last, is it. This Hollywood is villain, and here I am, <laughs> you know. Um, ready and willing and able, hopefully. But you'd be but perfect. But it, it, it didn't... Uh, it, it, it just didn't do well. It's annoying that, isn't yeah. it? And sometimes there's no, sometimes it's just not its time. You know, everything can be right and then it doesn't work. It's weird, isn't it? Yes, it's really yeah. strange. Yeah. No, but right, we'll, we'll, start, we'll start that campaign. <laughs> okay, the good. Next Bond movie. Starting here, starting exactly, now. Exactly, because yes. you're, you're very good at that and you're always, you're always very good at sort of quite world weary characters as well. A world weary Bond. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Or sort of like, oh, you know, because that was like the, the, the obviously, you know, that we've seen and, 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 and also kind of in Hippopotamus as well. He's almost kind of baffled by the world, isn't he? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think he's got a he's got a very, uh, a very kind of idealistic, actually, yes. under all the um, uh, um, under all the stuff on top, idealistic view of what language should be. So I don't think I could be a theatre critic, really. I think it would. Uh, yes, it would take away all the pleasure. It would. Yeah. It would, and it would be awful. And you wouldn't having to, be... to see it three or four times a week. I, you know, there are harder things. It must they be are. admitted. But... It's very true. <laughs> now, look, so hippopotamus. When can I see it? It's out on DVD, isn't it? It is out on DVD and Blu-ray and, uh, and, and all digital. That all that now. Excellent. Um, and it's still on release, but you'd have to sort of track it down. For sure. I think. Yeah, uh, because it was on limited and things, release. That's yeah. right. I, yeah. I remember. And are we going to see some more Endeavour? Yes, I'm Great. in the middle of doing it now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Good. I like that. I like that a lot. So we'll probably see that later on in the year or maybe... Uh, beginning beginning of, the new, uh, of, the, of next year. Fantastic. Mm. Roger, thank you. Such a joy to see you. It really is.